Well, I've added some color to it here, and actually it was kind of picky work, and I didn't want to take up all the time to do that. But now I'm going to, with a little larger brush, I'm going to add some shadows in here that will kind of pull it together, I hope. And we already know the light's going to be coming this way, so this side of this roof is going to be darker, darker to it. Same way up here, this house is going to be darker there. And this one's going to also be darker right around the whole top there. And a little snow over there on that side. This has some light hitting right there. This side is also in shadow, so we'll pull a little bit of that down. You can see it kind of bubbling up. That leaves a neat effect. This side over here is going to have a shadow from that silo. And then there would be a little shadow back here. There would be some snow drifts back in here. And we've got this nice snow field back here. I love that. This side certainly has shadow over here. This road coming in has some shadow coming around it. So we'll kind of come like that. This comes over here. Right back here we've got a full shadowed snow drift. I'm using almost the same color for all of my snow shadows because it works so good. It, it, back here this continues through here that way. May have a little bit of shadow right in here like that. Now if you don't live where you have snow and you've never seen this, it, it, this seems kind of crazy what I'm doing probably, but if you've seen snow before, and I've seen lots of snow, you'll realize that it lays kind of like that. And down here, of course this is over here like that. Over here we have a little bit of, yeah, let's have, let's have a couple of, that one can come down there like that, that one over there, and this road comes on in there like that. This one's going to have light here because the light's hitting right in there. Partly I'm doing this because I have this white edge over here. The road has a little bit of a, a gravelly or it's a dirt road and uh, so we're going to come in here with the side of the brush, kind of pull the tracks around. We'll put a fence in there. I have a large fence here because it's pretty tall. And that'll bring us in over here. We'll do the same thing. We have some fence over here. And we have this telephone pole or power pole. There's that one. A little darker stuff right in here. And in here. And then, even though this is a barn, we're going to put a little vent right there because they had a stove. Putting in some detail here on this. And I'm going to pull in some some trees, tree trunks right over in here. And there's going to be one right back here behind this barn. This is a rigger, a size one rigger. And they're so much fun you have to be careful you'll get carried away and do too much with them. But I just love, love doing it. And over here we're going to do the same thing and put a couple of trees to to break up this area over here. Now let's take the tape off and see where we are. It's kind of going to be like a mat. And if we like it, great. If we don't, we can do some more. It bled in there a little. I didn't get it down good on the terra skin. I should have. But that'll clean right up. And that's the beauty of terra skin. And I think I'm almost through. I need to work over in this area just a little bit. All I'm going to do over there is lift out a little bit of tree trunk just by dampening. Let it sit just a minute and then rub it and there it is. Now the only thing we need I think is a couple of little people in here because it's very evident someone's at home over here because of the smoke coming out of the chimney. And then we have to spray it with snow. We haven't done that yet. So we're going to come in here with a really again rich strong blue for a jacket on someone, a girl or a boy. And he or she is going to be right here. And she's going to have on a red jacket. And they're holding hands, of course. And there they are. And they're casting a shadow across this way. And we're going to spatter it now. 
by taking the toothbrush, adding a little bit of water, and again holding the toothbrush the same way, like this, and have that tissue right there so that that drop doesn't fall off on the painting. And I'll give it a little spat. Oh, that's coming out really nice. Look at that. Scatter right in there. It's snowing down here too. And I think that's finished. But in 10 minutes, I'll think of something else to do to it. I always do. And if I leave it overnight and come back, I usually always will see things I wish I had done or want to do or changing it a little bit. So, But anyhow, that's a watercolor on Terra Skin. It's really, really fun. I think you'll like it.